हेलो एवरीवन आम रितिका कुंभारे फ्रॉम बजाज इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन फर्स्ट इयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड माय टॉपिक इज कैपेसिटर सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कैपेसिटर सो लेट्स सी सो लेट्स सी अबाउट द कैपेसिटर कैपेसिटर इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस व्हिच इज यूज्ड टू स्टोर एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी If we talk about the construction, then capacitor has two conductive metal plates, and dielectric is placed between the conductive plates. And these plates are normally made up of materials such as aluminium, brass, or copper, and they are good conductor of electricity. Then the characteristic of capacitor: capacitance is the ability to store the amount of electrical energy. Capacitance value of the capacitor is measured in picofarads. nano farads and micro farads and the large quantity of capacitance is farad working voltage is the amount of voltage of capacitor can receive without any damage and failure then the tolerance is the extent to which the actual capacitance is allowed to vary from its nominal value the most common tolerance variation for most of the capacitor is 5% or 10% then in a leakage current a capacitor contains non conductive material known as dielectric the dielectric allows a small amount of electricity through the dielectric called leakage then working temperature temperature affects the capacitor ability to store electrical energy then polarization incorrect polarization can lead to several damage within the capacitor and throughout the circuit and device then esr esr stand for the equivalent series resistance total resistance of every part of the capacitor now let's see the type of capacitors mainly there are two type of capacitor fixed and variable then the fixed capacitor have the type of polar and non polar and super capacitor and electrolytic capacitor are the type of polar capacitor and then ceramic capacitor film capacitor mica capacitor and glass capacitor these are the type of non polar capacitor which is uh, most commonly used so let's see the type of fixed capacitor so polar and non polar are the type of fixed capacitor so in this we will see firstly polar capacitor that is super capacitor and electrolytic capacitor so super capacitor which is also known as super capacitor and super cap and ultra capacitor it has a high capacitance but low voltage rating this type of capacitors can deliver charges much faster than the battery and store more than the electrolytic capacitor and electrolytes are used are used in between the electrodes then in the electrolytic capacitor it is made up of two metal plates whose positive plate is covered with an insulating oxide layer this insulating layer act as dielectric on the second cathode terminal electrolytes is used then this is the comparison between super capacitor and electrolytic capacitor if we talk about the capacitance range the super capacitor have 100 farad to 1200 12000 farad and the capacitance range for the electrolytic capacitor is 1 microfarad to 47 millifarad and the working voltage current leakage then tolerance life span cost is more in super capacitor than the electrolytic capacitor if we talk about the application then super capacitor is used in audio power supply filter and electrolytic used in high frequency applications then these are the polar and non polar type of capacitors so here are the non polar type of capacitor that is ceramic film mica and glass let's talk about the ceramic as the name suggests ceramic capacitor so the ceramic material is used as dielectric it is made up of two layers of metal with ceramic as dielectric the voltage rating of the capacitor depend on its dielectric strength 
Ceramic capacitor are available in different shape and styles. That is ceramic disc shape which is shown in a another diagram and uh, MLCC. So that ceramic disc shape which is commonly used type of ceramic capacitor having one layer of ceramic between electrodes and MLCC that is multi-layer ceramic chip is rectangular shaped with multiple alternating layer of metal and ceramic materials. Then in a film capacitor, film capacitor is also known as polymer film capacitor or plastic film capacitor which uses a film of usually plastic and sometimes paper as a dielectric. Its construction has two types, metallized and film foil construction paper capacitor. Then in the, in the metallized capacitor, metallized dielectric film is used which is made by depositing a metal layer over the dielectric film. The metal can be used aluminium or zinc. Film foil capacitor as the name implies uses plastic film as a dielectric and is mounted within two layer of uh, aluminium foil uh, electrode. Then in a mica capacitor, mica capacitor are widely used in the high frequency electrical appliances and can be used as standard capacitor. So these are the capacitance value of ceramic film and mica capacitor. So the capacitance range for the ceramic capacitor is 0.1 picofarad up to about 100 microfarad and for a film capacitor is below 1 nanofarad to 30 microfarad and for mica capacitor few picofarad to 3000 picofarad if we talk about the tolerance then film capacitor have the higher tolerance than ceramic and uh, mica capacitor then in an application ceramic capacitor are used in transmitter station high density applications and uh, Mika capacitor is used in X-ray flashes, power supply in electronic device and Mika capacitor is used in filter and RF circuit. Then in a glass capacitor, glass capacitor will have a relatively lower capacitance value. The values of glass capacitor may range from a fraction of a picofarad up to 2 to 3000 picofarad. And glass is used as a dielectric. Gla uh, glass dielectric capacitor offers very high level of performance and used in RF circuit where our ultimate performance is required. Then another type of uh, capacitor is variable capacitor. So the capacitors that are with varying amount of capacitance are known as variable capacitor. Certain ranges of values are provided in, uh, in variable capacitor. Based on the required values, these capacitors are chosen. This type of capacitors consist of plates made up of meters. Among these plates, one will be fixed, other will, other will be movable. The range of the capacitance provided by, the, by this capacitor is from 10 picofarad to 500 picofarad. Then the most popularly used variable capacitors are tuning capacitor, trimmer capacitor and the uses are in this capacitors the type called trimmer capacitor can be easily used on the printed circuit board and second use is these are used in receivers of the radio. So this is the, this is the comparison between electrolytic and ceramic capacitor. So the Ceramic capacitor have the capacitance range is 0.1 picofarads to 100 microfarads and electrolytic capacitor have 0.1 microfarad to 47 millifarads. Then electrolytic capacitor is polar capacitor so it has a polarity and ceramic capacitor is non-polar capacitor. So the another point for the ceramic capacitor is has no polarity. Then the voltage and the temperature is less in electrolytic capacitor compared than the ceramic capacitor. Then if we want to read any capacitance value, tolerance and voltage value which is written on the capacitor. So we can read like here. Um, 
if we want to read the tolerance value, capacitance value and the voltage value which is written on the capacitor, then we can read like the value of capacitance is expressed in picofarad. To decode the value, take the first two digit, then follow with the number of zeros indicated by the third digit. Like this capacitor has the capacitance value 68000 picofarad and the letter J indicates the tolerance of the capacitor. So that means plus minus 5% is the tolerance and 68000 that is 68000 picofarad is the capacitance value. Then here 2E indicates the voltage code that is 250 volt is the voltage of 2E. Uh, so 250 volt is the voltage. K indicates plus minus 10 percent. So plus minus 10 percent is the tolerance and 10 10 zero follows 50 is the capacitance value in term of picofarads. And lastly, here flash capacitor in camera is fitted. So this flash capacitor is a electrolytic capacitor. So electrolytic capacitor is also known as, not known as, but here is a flash capacitor is also an electrolytic capacitor. So that's all about the capacitor. Thank you.